giving them the countdown right now. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's see how good the sync is today. Hopefully pretty good. Okay, not bad, actually. That looked pretty good sync to me. Yes, good luck to both runners. These runners both have really good PBs, both sub-12. Anyone could win, easily. They have three attempts here at rolling snowballs. I'm going to try my best to look at both. I want definitely not going for all the time save, but, you know, who, like, why, why go for all the time save? Unless you just want to show off with a cool 19.8 something. Okay, Albon with a mistake, but no problem. Has two more attempts. Gibble also a mistake. Yep, also a restart. Didn't hit the big snowball forwards. We learned earlier today that top route loses 0.023 or so over bottom route, but bottom route is way too inconsistent to do in the middle of a single segment. Gibble on her third attempt here. Gotta be careful not to die. Albon finishes. 940, not bad at all. Should be safe for Gibble as long as there's no death on these pokies or the big snowball doesn't go the wrong way. Yep, all good. And it's a 932. Gibble with the 8 millisecond lead. Uh, I don't know. Albon, it's it's going to be a rough to catch up to that, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we're just going to have to see what can ha anything can happen, I, I guess. <laughs> of course. We still have 19 ninjis to go, so. Maybe Albon can make up those eight. All right, gonna give them their countdown for Speed Venture. I think Albon is ready. I'm gonna give him a second just to make sure. Okay, they're both ready, and here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Little bit of delay. So, there's a bunch of different routes for Speed Venture of Link, um, but there's pretty much one safe route. I think we're both gonna we're just gonna see both the players pull out a bomb, yeah, or at least try to pull out a bomb. But Albon does, Gibble also does, and the nice thing about Speed Venture is you can, as soon as you get the sword, you can get hit. Oh, like Gibble just got hit there, but there's backup swords abound, so just picks up another and keeps going. Little time loss, but. It's honestly a, a not, not too bad of a level to get hit in. It looks like Albond also took a hit because he, he went for a backup sword as well, but in the underground section. Gibble with a little bit smoother underground, so picking up some of the time she lost earlier. Not too bad finish for both of them. Ooh, just... Oh, wow, that was actually a really... That was like a synced finish almost, but Albond was actually about three seconds behind. No big deal. Pretty good T sols from both of them. Should tell Gibble to start at two because ninjis are loading for. Oh, okay. Oh, true. Okay. Okay, right, I'm gonna let her know. We'll try that out. Okay, uh, Gibble refuses to try starting on two. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask them if they're ready for 10 coin. And they're both ready. Okay, here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Any predictions on their pipe times here? 1, or is it 2? Two? 2 point? Now I'm already forgetting what it is. Will we see the 8-3 though? The 8-3 is optimal. Is that a better sync? Ooh, it, we might even need Gibble to start even earlier. Do we see an optimal start from Albond? Oh, not quite optimal. Losing, I think, two frames or so. Oh, three frames or so from Gibble. Rough starts here. But both just going for the big mushroom route. But Albond doing... Is this big all the way, big mushroom all the way route? Interesting. I guess this is the safe route, because if you get hit, you're still good. Makes sense. And maybe even going for the damage boost through the spiny on purpose. Uh, but Gibble just going for small toadette route. Finishes just a bit ahead. About two seconds ahead. But they both safely made it through, so no big deal. Okay. 
Let's see if they're ready for CMD. The cat, the Mario with the dashes. A pretty great level in my opinion. Okay, here we go with the countdown. And we have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Let's see, Let's see if this syncs up. Uh, the two runners a bit better because we have the ninjis incoming on Gibble's end. Oh, is it a good sync? Uh, wow, Gibble actually s pressed start earlier, but then the ninji ghost just took so long to load. So this is kind of like T Sol, or I mean Speed Venture, <laughs> T Sol Speed Venture, where you can lose the power up, but there's a lot of backup um, power ups, and you know if you get hit, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, like Albon just got hit there, but hey, the run's not dead. Mario is still alive, and there is no bell, unfortunately, in this sub -world, or in this uh, hallway section. But there's one in this next room that he can pick up, and he does. The nice thing about the the hallway room is the boost pad kind of evens out, no matter wh whether you have a um, cat suit or not. It's probably a bit faster to have cat suit just because you can do dives, but it just it just doesn't mean that losing the cat suit actually loses that much time at that point. Because the boost pads are just everywhere. Gibble with a 33. Really good. Now Blonde just a bit behind. 38. Really close dive there at the end. Almost dove into the base of the flag. I think that's possible if you like go for a hardcore early dive. Okay. And here we go into the, the mega death uh, <laughs> ninji where... I, I and some other runners have died during single segment tourney run matches for some reason. I, I don't know why, but oops, I'm typing the countdown. I wrote 98. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So there's like, uh, I would say there's a couple danger spots in this one, but there's this one at, at a specific point where you gotta jump on a bonsai that it seems like it, there's a little more deaths than usual in that specific spot. Albon with kind of a weird slow <laughs> entrance in the pipe losing like a, almost half a second there, but no big deal. Maybe some sort of safe strat. Yeah, Albon has, looks like he has some sort of safe strats here. I'm not, this route is kind of interesting. And let's see if they go for the turnaround. Come on, Al Albon's gonna, doesn't go for the turnaround. What a shame. Gibble does and gets it. And see, that's why we go for the turnaround here, folks. That just that could have just made the difference. Great turnaround from Gibble. But honestly, both really good runs from both players. I think Gibble had some time loss earlier. I didn't see where, but... Oh, look at that, like, synced finish, though. Wow. Yeah, so GG to both. Pretty clean overall. No, Nothing major. Yeah, the the endings were sync. the The beginning's not quite, but maybe well, maybe we'll start on four after this one. We'll, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. I feel like this one might be a good sync. Gibble started just early enough that. I feel like the ninja ghosts are going to balance out. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're going to have to get Gibble to start one second earlier. Okay, do we see mushroom strats here? Mushroom strats from Gibble and getting a good mushroom grab. That's not easy. Albon going mushroom lists, but no huge risks. Just has to be careful not to hit anything. That's not really a, a big uh, point of concern, though. Good turnaround from both players. Wow. That's not easy. They made it look easy, but that's not. Actually, really? Just overall... Extremely solid runs for both players. And the Mushroom did end up saving Gibble, I think, about a second. Something close to a second. Or, okay, half a second. So, worth it? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's get a four-second start here. Alright, here we go. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oops, I typed. Uh oh, I'm doing the countdown weird. I did two fours for some reason. Anyway, here we go. I think I think the spike gibble starting this so early. I think it this we're gonna see a sink here. Come on, give it, give us the sink. Ah, oh, okay, maybe whatever. We'll figure it out. So, the best ninja ever, right here. Uh, I don't think... Oh, we do see the wall jump from Gibble. I was about to say, I don't, I don't think we we're going to see wall jumps from either players. Because it's kind of risky. You don't want to get hit in this ninja. If you get hit, you have to restart. Because that's the clear condition. It's the only ninja like that. Where you can break the clear condition. But it looks like both players don't have to worry about getting hit here. Just pretty solid overall. Oh. Oh, no. Gibble's red, last red coin is blocked. Just the one wrong brick remained. How did that happen? That's so rare. I've, I I, can't remember seeing that before. That was a really good backup, though. Thinking on her feet, getting that cannon box and jumping back up to break the last brick. That's funny. I, 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 I know that's something that could happen. I just haven't seen it in forever. Yeah, and really good... Uh, HH there from Albon. Almost a 28. A 29. Okay, Gibble is ready for the best level. Let's see if Albon is ready for the best level. Ready. Okay, here we go. The undisputed best level that didn't win the tournament. The best NG ever tournament, that is. Oh yeah, they're about six seconds apart by the looks of it, so so close, way too close to call anything at this point. Could lose six seconds in one level super easily. Pretty good sync here, not, not probably the best starting sync we've had so far. Alright, let's see, will we see any sub-40s? Who knows? Anything sub-45 is pretty great, but honestly, you have to bonk a lot to get something above sub-45. This is a very forgiving ninji that's just a nice midway point, sort of, in the run. Not too big of a concern. Albon missing the star. <laughs> thinks about going back, but then just goes, uh, nah. So, Albon will lose not actually as much time as you might think. I think it, it'll be like five, maybe, or like four. Three or four seconds time loss, depending on how well he finishes. Yeah, pretty good coin collection there. Gibble with a 40.5, and Albon with a 40. Oh, just uh, just under 45. So yeah, sub 45s from both. I would say that's pretty great. Just like I said at the beginning. Especially with the miss miss star from Albon. That that was a good recovery. Yeah, this this star. It's I and I. We need to do some testing and see if it's worth going back for the star. I don't think it is though. I think I think Albon probably made the smart choice there by not going back to the star. All right, here we go with Y P P P P P P P P. Funny, funny, funny letters. This one is a bit dangerous because you lose that shell, or you miss a piranha, things get messy. There's a couple strats here. There's, there's one thing that's nice is there's a couple of backup Koopas. Um, one is pretty easy to go for; the other wastes a bit of time. Yeah, they, they both have similar strats, collecting the green shell, but Gibble going for, like, the, the main strat there, Albon going for something safer. Oh, Albon missing a Piranha, unfortunately, but at least notices it before continuing. It would really suck to have to go all the way back. Um, looks like the rest of the level is clean so far from both players. Actually, Gibble having a really good run there, sub-30 is great, but Albon with good backups, getting a just under 35, so... Yeah, only about five seconds difference, so pr pretty good stuff there, honestly. Especially with the the Miss Piranha. Just good recoveries. We're seeing a lot of good recoveries this match from both players. Ooh, we might see some interesting PC Pup strats here, depending on if Gibble still does uh, the Hammer strats or not. I think she does, but we'll we'll have to find out. And I think Albon will 
probably just go for boomerang the whole way. Oh, wait, no, we're seeing boomerang from both players. Okay, never mind. Gibble made the switch, it looks like. Ooh, Gibble going for that fast early start that's a little risky. Could get hit there, but okay. Works out just fine. Good bully from Gibble. Pretty safe. Also a safe bully from Albon. Good pokey movement. Oh, Albon losing the boomerang. No big deal. You can do the rest of the level, I think, with uh, this Mario. Just going to take more time. Good bonk strats into the on-off. Gibble had a rest of the good level. Let's see what Albon can do here. Yeah, picks up the hammer and just... Now it's back to normal. Ooh, good, good hammer jump into there. Like, that mid-air hammer swing. It's not super easy. It saves a good amount of time. So Albon finishes with a 45, 860, and Gibble with a 36. So that was almost 10 seconds different there. That was a pretty good time save for Gibble. But she's already quite ahead. Let's see. Yeah, about 24 seconds ahead now. Still anyone's game. Did we just have a weird stream error from Albon? I don't know what happened. I, I saw a little icon up here. It looks good now, though. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully the sync is fine. I might need to uh, refresh Albon's. But we'll see. I'm giving them the go. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give <laughs> I think I'm going to... Here, I'll, I'll try and refresh Albon's really quick right now. That's way behind. Hopefully that... There we go. Just in time for the beginning. So I think we'll see probably stiletto strats from both players. But I actually forget. I, Albon might go for the floaty boot. I forget the name of it. The wing boot. Oh, what what a clean... Like, what a clean flutter from Gibble. I don't know how she can do it so consistently. Yeah, okay. Both stiletto. Makes sense. The... The wing boot route is pretty tricky to do in the middle of a single segment, and especially like in a match setting, it's not very safe. Yep, pretty clean, both players. Albon just a little bit behind because of the missed flutter. That's actually quite hard to get, but Gibble's very consistent. At. But it looks like Albon's actually on pace for PB right now, so he's actually on a really good run. Um, and it's anyone's game. They're less than 30 seconds apart from each other. Okay, let's see if they're ready for say so ae Caesar salad say what? Okay, here we go. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and go. Hmm. I wonder if this <laughs> I thought we fixed the sync, but maybe, I don't know. Well, it should be fine. Maybe there'll be a big... Oh, oh my god, we have a sync start, everybody. I, well, pretty synced, anyways. <laughs> Probably the best sync so far. So, I I think Gibble will go for keeping the squirrel suit the whole way. I forget what Alphon does here. Okay, they're... Oh, they're both going for squirrel suit the whole way, but Alphon, I think, missing a, a squirrel flutter or whatever it's called. No big deal, though. Yeah, pretty safe route to go for uh, the squirrel suit. Pretty pretty recommended, honestly, for the match. Albon having some trouble at the end there. Just doing some fancy wall jumps just, just for fun. Definitely just for fun and not an accident. Oh, Gibble getting a, a single segment PB in an SAE. That's pretty great. That 23.832, that was a good time. I just thought she got really consistent at that. Add channel point rewards. We should. <laughs> what do we even have here? Oh, we have the boring default ones. Yeah, we'll look into that. This channel just, it just gets resurrected every once in a while. We don't put much uh, time into it, I guess. Ooh. Albon says he's ready for the worst ninji. I 
very much disagree with that, but I'm going to leave personal preferences aside for the commentary. The nice thing, the cool thing about At the Croak of Midnight is that there's a lot of backups and it's really easy to mess up. So this one can be pretty chaotic and it's interesting to see how the players recover from any mistakes. Ooh, Albon, ooh, I don't know what route Albon's going for here. Because I thought he was, I thought he missed those coins there, but maybe that's part of his route. Oh, oh, it's bomb strat. Does he get, ooh, wow, gets the bomb. That is not easy to time. Ooh, I haven't seen the bomb strat work in a while. Nice, good stuff. Wow, Albon like throwing the shell in midair. That's this is. I don't remember what when this strat was a thing, but this is interesting to watch. Gibble Gibble's route a bit more, a bit faster. Oh man, Albon just one coin behind. Luckily that block had the last one he needed. Yeah, so 34 from Gibble, pretty great. Um. Oh, just missing sub 40 from Albond, but still really good time. Again, it's just fun to watch the recoveries in that one. I think that's probably one of the most entertaining uh, ninjas in the whole run. Actually, they're both really close to their PB. It looks like Gibble is about three seconds. Actually, they're both three seconds behind PB pace for both of them. Pretty crazy. As we go into... A A M, which is a devastator. We might see a death here, but I don't want to jinx it. Best of luck to both players going in. It's a scary one. Yep, I agree with Pie Guy. This is the worst single segment ninja. But I I might even go as far as say it's, it's it's the worst of all. But definitely for single segment, it's very frightening. It's extremely frightening. So many places to die, mistakes have to be few and far between not easy not easy to recover from mistakes i want having a bit of a late star collection here so oh yeah hits the bricks but otherwise fine gibble though really smooth run oh yep albon with a fall has to be careful not to lose star he should be fine laying the thwomp fall just has to be careful using the geese strat here as we call it Ooh, actually that's like a modified geese strat oh i like that didn't even have to wait at the cannons. Okay, the the Albond modified Geese strat is in now. That was cool. That was a really good backup. A 30 is not bad for, for having some issues with the star. No deaths in AAM. That's, that's great. That's what we want to see in a single segment tourney. Big sigh of relief. Yeah, did Gibble get a 21.1? I didn't even see. Wow. Yeah, Gibble is insanely consistent at AAM. Probably the most consistent out of anyone in the tourney that I've seen play. I don't know how Andre and Ray Mega are at it. Um, it'd be I, I'm I'm very interested to see that because that 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 just just AAM. If you're bad at that, that could destroy the rest of your run very easily. Even if you're good at everything else. Because just the time loss can be so huge. Having a loading issue from Albon there. Hopefully it recovers. Um, but let's just watch Gibble in the meantime. There we go. It looks like they both had pretty good starts though. Um, going for all the fastest strats. Which is which is a nice. Because you can pretty much go for all the fast strats that you want to in CBB. The sub roll strat's a bit risky though. Uh, Gibble went for it. Knows the backups though. So... Doesn't really lose much time. Albon going for the safer strat. Probably saving time over Gibble because of that. Yep, about two seconds saved over Gibble. Let's see how smooth their um, POW guiding section is. Pretty smooth from both. And despite Albon having his stream pause for a few seconds. Oh no, the, the wall jump off of the staircase. That's unfortunate. Still finishing ahead of Gibble by a good four seconds. I'm going to just uh, refresh Al Albon's stream here. Fix that. There we go. All right. As we go, <laughs> yeah, the stairs. I'm sorry, Albon. That sucks. As we go into GBU. That was a stair moment. Verified stair moment from Andre. Okay. 
Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Gibble's saying, do your worst, Gerald. And Gerald's uncle, too. Yep. If, if anything goes wrong in this level, it'll probably be in the, the Gerald area. The Gerald zone. But you never know. It's not it's not a super consistent ninja, I would say. It's definitely not the worst, though. Smooth run from Gibble so far. Same from Albon. Let's see, do they go for the... No, they're not going to go for the Thwow. The Thwow? The Thwomp push strat. Ooh, Gibble getting some bonks off the donuts, unfortunate. So that gives Albon a bit of time to catch up here. Pretty good fire. Okay, Albon just spamming that fire, making sure Gerald is good and dead. Gibble having some issues with Gerald's uncle, unfortunate. Gerald's uncle wasn't having it today. Let's see how smooth their final rooms are. Albon missing a Goomba, but good backup jumping on it. Gibble also missing one, using the fire to get it. So that's a good, uh, another six second time save there from Albon. Albon said, yeah, once once Albon saved that first frame, I think we knew how this uh, this matchup here was going to end up. Albon was just <laughs> bound to finish ahead. So that it's you just lose confidence if you if you lose that many frames at the start. But honestly, good finish from both. And we're going to go into CYDI. Even the even the acronym for it kind of sounds like can you dig it? CYDI. Anyway, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. I would say this is a nice point in the run, but I've seen some mistakes here that have cost a lot of time. But in my experience, there, there's so many safe strats for this ninji that you, as long as you don't take too many risks, it there's not too much to worry about here. But there's a lot of points where you can lose the SMB2 mushroom, and that will just cost time. But I, we're seeing... Ooh, Albot actually going for some riskier strats, like an early cloud pull instead of waiting. Missing the first big snowball there, Albon, but people getting it, so... Both get a... Ooh, Albon just missing the jump off the little snowball. Gibble's just flying ahead now. Albon pumping into all the big snowballs, unfortunately. No big deal, though. Good cloud pulling section, a little little tiny mistake there from Gibble, but nothing that would prevent her from entering the door. But Albon, oh no, misses the door because of uh, because of that last little block. Uh, yeah, unfortunately has to get the SMB2 shroom here to continue. It's not even worth going in the door at that point. Good backup. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see that. Good finish though from Albon there. Good clean jump on the moving snowball strat. I don't know what it's called, but it's really cool looking. Yeah, and a little bit more time loss there from Albon. Now, about 50 seconds behind, but I would say anyone's game. As we go into Dry Bones Hellscape. Dry, dry Bones Hellscape. It's definitely the official name. I was going to wait a second here from Albon. I think he was just getting ready says ugh yes okay he is ready <laughs> here we go six five four three two one go i and i'm trying to remember if albon is he the one that goes for the super risky holding the shell strat anyway we'll see i think that might be i think you have someone else but there are a few strats here both in the sub world and the beginning gibble just oh i think gibble meant to go for the dead shell yeah albon does the same but gibble doing it a little too early and just losing time being dead on the floor <laughs> happens to all of us so i want to just a couple seconds ahead three sec two or three seconds ahead as we go into the sub world the spooky sub world gibble another little mistake on the climb there i didn't actually see albon's strat there but it was super fast gibble some I'm not sure I don't think that was her intended strat, but that's what ended up happening. No big deal. Ooh, little bit risky saw strat there from Albon. Otherwise, pretty great ending. 32, great time. Let's see what Gibble does here. No, no ride on the thwomp or anything crazy like that. Just a safe ending. So that's a good eight seconds time save there 
for Albon. Uh, decreasing the gap between them. Let's see what it is now. We have a 10-12 from Albon and a drum roll. 27 from Gibble. Okay, yeah, still about 50 seconds or so. As we go into the 19th Ninji, there's only two Ninjis left now. Still anyone's game. But Gibble definitely has a big lead, so uh, Albon's going to need to pull off some cool strats here, or Gibble's going to have to mess up. One or the other. But the only thing Albon, Albon can do is just play his best. Actually, that's the only thing both players can do, believe it or not. <laughs> so there's there's a few ways you can collect coins here, but I'm thinking we'll see about 40 coins from both players going into the subworld. I don't know what their subworld strats though are. I think Gibble just goes for the 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 main subworld strat, but Albon might go for the. I think Albon actually does go for the uh, the other subworld strat where you take like the upper section. Yeah, they both go in with about 40, 41 coins. Very safe coin collection from Gibble. Yep, and we'll see Albon go the top right section of the cave. I don't know how this one really goes, but it looks like he's doing a really solid job there. Yeah, really. Actually, that looked great. Um, yeah, more than enough coins going out with 94. Gibble, I think, had to do some backup stuff there, just or just played it safe to make to make sure she had uh, enough coins. You just need 87, at least 87 to have a smooth ending, but even if you have like 86, you can get away with it. You just have to collect some that you normally wouldn't. Oh, uh, unfortunately getting a... Losing the cape there at the last second, so... Albon again, just catching up one level after another. But now there's just one level left, and there's still a pretty big gap between them. Kibble says, rip sub-11. Yeah, sub-11 would be quite hard at this point. Uh, I don't I don't know if we can get, if, if uh, PB is possible for Albon, but pretty close here at the end. Let's see, going into the last level, what the players can pull off here. Looking pretty good for Kibble, though, at the moment. All right, here we go. Final level, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. You know what? There haven't there hasn't been a single death so far this match, which is pretty unusual. I think in every other match, as far as I know, there's been a death, at least one. So this might be the first deathless match. Or I could have just jinxed it, and one of them will fall in the lava or something. <laughs> Let's find out. Yep, yeah, both going for the second mushroom strat there, which is, I think, technically slower or something, but definitely safer. Maybe not, actually. It might not even be safer. I don't know. It's just just the more popular one. Albon <laughs> missing the ice blocks as Gibble struggles to get through them as well. Oh, missing the bomb. Oh, taking a hit and not breaking the blocks. But Gibble also having an issue with the bomb, so they're about even. It's just... Albon had to go around to get the on-off because he didn't have fire. But I think from this point on should be okay. Had a special star collection there that I'm not familiar with. Oh yeah, Albon forced to go around the, the ice corridor there at the end, which is probably nice because it's kind of annoying to do that. Both of them are going to have to wait for the donut, but Gibble's a bit ahead. Looks like a smooth finish with a sub one minute time. Great stuff. Albon will finish just over a minute by the looks of it without the Fire Flower, the rare non-Fire Flower ending. And that means that Gibble finishes with an 11 minute, 13 second run, 13.984, and Albon with a 11.58, just getting sub-12. So sub-12 from both players, really good times. Sub-12 in a tournament match is pretty impressive. Um, but Gibble taking the win, and will move on to play... The winner of Ray Mega versus Andre sometime in the future.